Warning, video contains dead animals. Parental discretion is advised. Okay, so, um, I know I didn't film an intro or anything, but we're out in the woods hunting for gray squirrel and my dad's hunting for deer. Um, I'm using my Maverick 88. He was shotgun. He's using his compound bow. Last time we were here, um, there was some gray squirrels down. Hey guys, it's me, Xander, on the Xanverse Wild, and um, we didn't really film this deer hunting. Um, we didn't get a deer, but I did get a red squirrel, the Maverick 88 Youth, um, 20 gauge. Um, so yeah, he was up in this tree, and we were waiting for him, and he came down from over here, and he's... As you can see, a smaller one, and the leaves were around him, so it was hard to see him. You could just see his tail twitching, so I pointed right there, and I pulled the trigger, and he fell. And yeah. Nice job, buddy. So right now, we've skinned the red squirrel. This is actually our first red squirrel that we kept the tail on it. The tail always usually is really on there really good and the, it came out really really good the fur came out very nice um yeah there's the meat that this is this part right here isn't much meat but the arms and the legs are where the most meat is and yeah so what are we gonna do with that meat we're gonna how are we going to cook it, do you think? I'm not sure. We'll probably look for some other YouTube videos. That... So, we're going to cook this meat right here and the the arms and the legs. We've done it before on a gray squirrel, but we just boiled it and put some seasoning on it and breaded it. and It was very chewy, but it doesn't taste bad. It tastes kind of like chicken. Um, Yeah, so... Just thought it'd be cool to show you how the fur is coming out and stuff. So this isn't our recipe. Um, we looked some up online and we chose this one. So first we're 
putting some um, olive oil in the pan. How much? Keep going. That's good. Then we're gonna take the dry ingredients and put them in there. So first, we have some breadcrumbs. I'm gonna put some of those in here. I already put a little salt in there. Yeah. You can put more of that. More. Let's go. Okay. Then I'm gonna put some Parmesan cheese. Then a little bit of pepper. And that's it for the dry ingredients. I'm gonna shake this all up so it's mixed it up. So put the cover on. That's probably good. Okay, so now we're gonna put some milk in this. And then we're gonna dip all this meat in there. So, so you can dip like it in this. here, and then once you dip it in there, just put set it in there real quick. Oops. It's probably getting too hot too quick over here. Just leave it right in there, Xander. Just dip it and then put it in there. Okay? We'll shake it all up after. Shake it all up. Yeah, let me just rinse off my hands real quick. Okay. Let's see what they look like. I like to double dip and double baste mine personally, or my chicken and stuff like that. So maybe we'll do that. Let's see what they look like. They look like. Chicken legs, kind of mm -hmm. easy. Do you want to dip them again and, and then shake them in there some more, or do you want to just cook them like that? I don't know. What do you think we should do? Well, I like getting a lot of breading on it, so I usually double dip mine. Then we should dip it again, right? Yeah. They didn't do that in our video, but just put it right back in there. Don't dip it long. Just dip it quick and then put it right back in there. Yep. parents do this part because this grease this oil can sometimes splatter. Oh. oh my god we'll get a lid to put on it too so it doesn't splatter yeah that's it a little piece of So now we're gonna flip these because they're frying. There they are. Ooh, that looks good. Sounds good. Yeah. Can't wait to try them. Okay, so now we're done cooking them. It didn't, doesn't take very long to fry these because it's not very much meat. It's not that much. Frying cooks but, pretty fast, too. Yeah. Those look good. Just let them cool now. Good idea. And then we'll try them. Okay, so now 
these pieces aren't cool, but there's these little tiny pieces, so I'm gonna try one. It's really good, actually. Hey, 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 wait, whoa, whoa, wait, your brother might want to try it. <laughs> yeah. Pretty good. Kind of like chicken, but it has a bit of a different taste. I like it. Not bad. Yeah. Okay, so that this is gonna be the end of the video. Um, I do recommend trying squirrel. It's actually not bad. It's Taste, it's hard to describe. It kind of tastes like chicken, but with a slightly different taste. Um, the only way to figure it out is to try it. So, um, yeah, see you in the next video.